Jésus. Papa, à mon assaï. Esprit-Louis. Il a servi la force de la partie. Et il a mis. I'm deeply grateful to the chairperson of Indira Gandhi Memorial Trust and also Congress President to invite me to share some of my perceptions with the distinguished president and pay respectful homage to the great leader who was born on this day and in years. That was the year which is most important or one of the most important years in the world history. He was, that is the year. And almost around the same time in the age was born, the Soviet Revolution took place, Bolshevik Revolution in Soviet Russia, which shook the whole world at that time, <coughs> and also dominated the contemporary history of more than seven decades. Indiraji was born in a family which was in the deeply involved in national struggle. Grandfather, father, and many other members of the family. It was quite natural for her to be involved in the national struggle in her own. She was fortunate to have the education from three great personalities of contemporary India. The letters written to her by Gandhi from Noidi Gay when she was hurting at him. They have provided her the new place of the world history and also the evolution of India. Later on, to meet other teachers, Mahatma Gandhi and Rabindranath Tagore, profoundly helped her to evolve her ideas about what made men matter. She spent some time in Shanti Bhutan. I had the opportunity of starting her in two of our cabinets in the 70s and 80s in London. When she came into politics, politics I mean parliamentary politics and became Ministers in Lal Bahadur's cabinet of the death of Pondiji and within a year and a half became the Prime Minister of the country. Immediately after the adoption of office, the general election, fourth general election of India in 1967, Results of that election profoundly disturbed her because as many as in five states Congress lost the general elections, failed to form the government. Not only that, a large number of senior Congress leaders, including central ministers, state chief ministers, were defeated and strength of Congress party in Lok Sabha by one stroke came down to 182 
from Jesus' people. He called. And this happened just after one year of our assumption of official privilege. And then you find out the reasons. The alienation of people from Congress. In our famous 10 points program, which is based before the AICC in Bangalore, and before that, discussed in working committees, he tried to point out that since 1952, every election, people have voted for Congress. Expectation of the people went high, particularly after the Abadi resolutions of socialist pattern of society. And in Bhubaneswar Congress, First one is 1955, and the last one was, I mean, congestion after that, 1964 in Bhubaneswar. When Congress committed to the people to confer and establish socialist society in the voted absolutely to power. But Congress failed, could not keep its commitment. Now it is the time to fulfill that promises which are unfair. Unfortunately, she could not carry it. And there was another development which profoundly influenced her course of action as Prime Minister in the subsequent years. Just that year, a monumental judgment of the Supreme Court of India passed uh, adopted the act. Just by margin of one vote in the full range of the Supreme Court at that point of time, it was the judgment in bureaucracy. After 17 years of the Republic and establishment of the Constitution, from the first time it was pointed out that Parliament has no constituent power. And as Parliament has no constituent power, no legislation passed by Parliament can deprive people of its individual rights. She found it very difficult to have the social legislation, and many of each, she got passed in the parliament by Scott Dominic on that night. Various political developments took place, we are fully aware of it. And I am not going to narrate those. But one thing she recognized that in a country like ours, an institution which represents the voice of people. There is no place in India, from Himalaya to Cape Kamori, from Mizoram to Dwarka, no section of the people who do not send a representation in the parliament from 543 territorial constituencies. And if the functioning of that parliament is part, by the interpretation of the judiciary and especially the area of the social legislation, it would be extremely difficult for the government, which is accountable to parliament, to fulfill its commitment to the people. Bank nationalization was declared null and void. Amendment to MRTP Act had the same effect. Nationalization of the general insurance was struck down. And at that point of time, she had to think deeply and came out with the As a congressman, I tried to find out 
even in the 1951 election manifesto, I did not find. But in 1971 election manifesto, Congress asked the people to vote, not only vote to our government to get majority, but two thirds million. She explained that I want to have social legislation and for that special measurement, special majority as per constitutional requirement is needed. People granted. And she brought the 24 amendment of the constitution which reasserted the constituent power of parliament which was in the days of constitution making and is continuing till today by amending Article 368 and which has been upheld by the Supreme Court in subsequent Kedavananda Bharti. I am mentioning these things only to point out that how detaching, when I was talking of her spirit of fighting, and how determined she was to fight for the people. I would not like to, because most of these things are known to all of you, our life story. I will conclude by one of the visions in which I was physically present, and Sonali was also present in that dinner at Toronto. It was immediately after our victory in the by-elections of Kipadu on the 14th of November, 1978, <coughs> attended a dinner hosted by India, British Association at London on the March day of the Jawaharlal Nehru, 14th November. They are the guest in chief, Michael Ford, the deputy prime minister of British government, Labour Party government. She observed many people think defeat of Indira Gandhi in the general election of 1960-77 have erased her from the history. They are wrong. She can never be erased from the pages of history. And I can tell you many more innings, glorious innings, are going to be added to her career. And it was almost a poverty because within two years she came back Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. And I uh, uh, respectful homage to that great daughter of India.